Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a remote controlled car. Now, a remote controlled car is the simple of simple in Gary's Mod. I mean, you don't even have to watch this tutorial, you probably already know how to do it. But for the people that don't, I'm not putting them down, but for the slower people of Gary's Mod, or the, the beginners, um, yeah, here it is. Um, first you want to spawn a 2x4 metal plate, um, P preferably PHX, uh, if not anything you want. Um, and wheels, any kind of wheels. Um, it doesn't matter if they're wired or if they're just normal wheels. If you're using normal wheels, make sure that these inputs are gone. You don't want them. Um, I use these. No, I won't. Those are huge. I wanted my ride to look totally sick, nasty. Those are huge. Who, who the heck? I, I just got PHX3. Holy crap, look at the size of those wheels. Sorry, I'm just checking these out for my first time. Right, we'll get some off-roading wheels. These look pretty good. It doesn't matter which way they're facing. Put them on all fours. Four corners. And that works. As you see, they roll pretty nicely. Alright. Now, I'm going to freeze that. Now what we need is to add some thrusters. Wired thrusters, what I add. Thrusters. We need these to be force multiplier, I don't know about. 2,000. We're going to use the pop can. Or are bi-directional it doesn't really matter at all there we need one up here the other one on the other side okay, now we have our pop can thrusters and we're almost done really <laughs> yeah I know so we're gonna spawn a one by one PHX metal plate and we're going to get our buttons. So button. It doesn't matter really. You could have you could go through and get all the arrows and set them all up if you wanted to. I am too lazy for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab one of these power green buttons and just put. Cause I mean you should know that it's forward, backwards, left, right. You don't need arrows to show you. <laughs> Alright. I mean, if you do, dude, seriously, you need help. I'm just gonna put this down here a little bit more. Boom. Boom. There. Just to, sp just to give them a little bit of space. There. Now we have our forward. Oops. Yeah. These do not need to be toggled. On value of 1, off value of 0. On the front, the right, the left and on the back you need a negative one and a positive zero because you want it to go backwards alright now we're gonna take another PHX metal plate and this is gonna be our um, yeah so we need our 2A radio no we don't need a text receiver we need a 2A radio there we go um, I like using this wireless router, uh, no, the chip, sorry. So we're going to create one here and one on top of here. And then we're going to right click one, right click the other, and now they're paired. It's pretty simple. So now you got to remember which is A. So now what we have to do is wire. So forward is A. Alright? It doesn't really matter. Forward is A. Left is B. Right is C. That's all we're gonna do right now. So for oops. Forward is A. Left is B. Right is C. There. Now I'm going to freeze this, and if I press this, as you see, we got flames going forward, not backwards yet, left, 
right. And we actually have those backwards. So we need to wire B to the right one there. So wire B to there, C to there. There. Now I need it to turn there. Alright, now we need to go backwards. So that's just one more. We need. You know, forgot how to go backwards. I think those are bi directional. Did I put them on bi directional? Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, well, I guess they don't need to go backwards. Um, sorry about that. I have a brain fart right now. I can't even remember where everything goes. But, there. We have our car. I'm gonna freeze that, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an RC, R, I mean an RC, RT camera, and we're gonna go RT camera. Click right here. Actually, we're gonna go there. We're gonna weld the camera to the plate. Unfreeze that camera there. Now we have that. Freeze the plate back up, and now I'm gonna go to useful and go down. Uh, and under Phoenix props RT screen. If you don't have um, this, then you can't do the tutorial. So now we're going to go down to color. And we're going to make this completely uh, there. And we're going to make these. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. There. Transparent. There. Now we can unfreeze that. We can go forward. Left. Um, yeah. Right now I'm just going to... What you can do... And what I'm gonna do is, if they're not right, it's a good thing about this. 2,000. Let's try 7,000. All I have to do is just click on the pop can. Everything stays the same, except for that the thruster changes. Every you don't have to rewire anything. So forward. Oops, I gotta unfreeze it. Through. Yeah. Forward. Left, right. Um, yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the old trick with weight, and this works a little bit too well, which I don't like. Sorry, I don't like this. It works too well, and I think you don't have enough control over this. So let's see. Forward. Uh, forward. left. Yeah, I'm gonna totally bump that up to three. Sorry about this. This is... I think it's the wheels. I'm not sure. I'm taking a risk doing it while it's moving. I'm just really skilled. forward left there we go right as you can see it's gonna drive right by us forward we're gonna go right and this is a remote controlled car Now it should be right in front of us. And it is, yay! And here it comes. Boom boom. Watch this. This is gonna be funny. Actually, it's gonna start flying a little bit. If you haven't seen that. Oh, alright. Perfect time to demonstrate the oh. I don't have my back on. But if you had your back set, you could totally do that. 
But again, I'm using an RT camera. You could also just use a normal camera, but it would be really hard to do because you have to press the buttons. And you can also make those wires go into the buttons invisible. <laughs> Sorry about hitting the mic. Okay, that's my tutorial on a remote controlled car. See ya.